in looking at the alteration of health is the views of the community. I address myself to what, said the, what my uh, colleagues have said. They have demonstrated that we, there have been proposals. And I want to bring before uh, 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 His Excellency, uh, Honorable uh, uh, Calonso, that in, uh, in uh, 21st October 2011, there was a Mabanga Accord that you are part and parcel, that the, the community demonstrated and among the resolution that they arrived at was that they were asking IDC that to look and to establish that there should be a redrawing of the boundaries. And what the second other thing was that IDC recommended that there should be in this boundary allocation that no single community should be dominant over the other. If that is not enough to demonstrate that there have been a lot of efforts to do this. I rest that true. We hear you and uh, thank you for reminding us about Mabangan Declaration. Um, we, we, we want to act in the best interest of time. I think you have heard. Moshmoa, you also want to add? Yeah, just a burning issue, Mr. Chair. Yeah. We want so to put, that, in, we want to put we you on in record thing. that surely you came to Mabanga to sign an accord on behalf of all the community who are living in Transoya and Pungoma so that at least there is peace and cohesion in that region. But as you are speaking now, Mr. Chair, that our God has never seen the light of the day. Here we are today, and I come from the side of Transoya County, and I want to believe that Honorable Eugene, Mr. Party Leader, who is seated here today, is a witness to this, that in the executive side of the government of Transoya, Mr. Chair, out of 11 CEC members, suburbs are only having one CEC, and that is the only county that they can call their county. Mr. Chair, out of 15 chief officers in Transoya County, we only have one chief officer. Out of 15, the suburbs has one chief officer. If it comes to directors, Mr. Chair, the suburbs has only two directors out of 13 directors. If it comes to human resource, for example, Mr. Chair, we have doctors and nurses who are employed the other day, and out of 350 doctors and nurses who are employed, the suburbs were only given eight slots. And that is the only county that these people can call their home, their, their county, so that they can govern themselves. Now, when it comes to reinforce, enforcement, we were given the other day... This is a comparative number in Bungoma of what you just given. The Bungoma people here, they will speak, and speaking no, no, on, and just the same. It's okay. Just when they come to CEC, there is only one in Bungoma. Chief officer, there is one in Bungoma. And, uh, Mr. Chair, when it comes to reinforcement, reinforcement, enforcers, out of 200 they want to employ, we understand that we have been given only eight slots. And to make matters worse, the drivers who have been employed and operators in Transway County, out of 120 operators and drivers, suburbs are only five. Now, general employees in Transway County are about 3,000. But our community qualify only out of 3,000 employees, 42 employees have been employed in Transway County. And that is the place we call our home, our county. So, Mr. Chair, we want to demonstrate to you that surely we are not just only marginalized. We have been sidelined in Transway County, likewise to Ngoma County. And this is the only opportune time that we are calling this commission to stand with the people of Transoya and support, to bring us together so that we form a county, we create a county called Mount Ilgon County, so that we can have now self-governance. That has been said. We will accept. Can I allow you just to hear from Mount Ngoma people, please? Just a minute. Thank you so much, uh, Chair and the committee. I'm called Honorable Jen Chebet, a two-time MC and a repeat speaker. I've been uh, an MC in Bungoma for 10 years, and I want to give you the plight of Bungoma. That even in the Mabanga Court, sir... Are you sitting deputy speaker? Not yet. I tried to wrestle down Kapondi, but he really challenged me. And uh, I'm waiting for the next race again. I want to be the next women representative in Mount Elgon County. Your Excellency, uh, members of the uh, Parliament, in Bungoma County, we don't have any elective position as executive from the governor, from the senator, from even the women rep, because we are minority, so all those positions are held by the majority. 
when it comes even to the executive, the CC, out of the 10 CCs, we only have one CC from Mount Elgon. And that is not even the percentage we are supposed to, to be given. When you come to the county assembly where I was, we have 126 workers. And out of the 126, only 20 are from the suburb or the Mount Elgon community. And even going back even to the executive, the workers in the executive are over 7,000. And the, the percentage of the suburbs is even less than 20%. So we have the right, if you accept our wish, that we are tired of being minority. We have to be majority in our own uh, interests and 